Hi, welcome to my shop. My name is Denis Fortin and I would like to share my passion for woodworking with you. It's always a good idea to get your workspace prepared when working with glue. A plastic sheet over the table is a good way to protect your workstation. You could also have a space dedicated especially for gluing. So here, let's set the assembly. You just gotta get your clamps ready. Any kind of good clamps with the right dimension will do the job. You then apply the glue on the edges. It is a good practice to apply the glue on both facing edges. Always trying to spread it as uniform as you can. You don't have to put too much, but you gotta make sure there is enough everywhere. So putting glue on the two edges will help. It's certainly no fun to realize that a bit of glue is missing once the job is done. Okay, let's proceed to the final setup. Another way to spread the glue is to rub the edges together when you're proceeding to the assembly. Once the alignment is good, you can start to gently tighten the clamps, making sure the joints are as even as possible. Having the three boards as close as possible to the exact same plane means less wood to remove on the final touch. Now, at this stage, we can get rid of the excess glue over the joints. I really like working with this kind of spatula. I find it very efficient for this kind of use. Here, my joint is perfect. Now I can start tightening. There is no benefits to go too hard on the clamps. You just gotta make sure it is firmly stuck together. Of course, I would recommend using at least three clamps. A very good practice is to alternate sides when you put them on. This allows the force applied by the clamps to be evenly distributed. Therefore, this is gonna help getting a flatter panel. Once everything looks fine, you can firmly tighten the whole thing. Looks great on this side. The glue has already been removed. On the other side, we'll do the same thing with the excess glue. It's always cleaner to do it at this stage. According to the types of glue, there is a drying period. I would say, to get the most out of it, waiting 24 hours is pretty reasonable. If ever you're in a rush, you should at least follow the manufacturer's recommendation. But as I said, 24 hours will provide a very good cure. So I wish you a great time in the shop. Enjoy the new trick if you need it. And thanks for watching. The full-size stencils included in the plan booklet simplify the realization of your projects. Thus, few measures need to be transposed. In addition, all dimensions are available in inches and millimeters. You can choose the measurement system that suits you.